By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to create a checklist and a module in OAKS. This will help organize your class for your online students. To make a checklist, what I need to do is hit New, and then scroll down to New Checklist. Once I'm there, I need to give it a title and a description. This is what the student will see in the module, so it's important that you describe what to do if a student has never accessed a checklist before. I like to tell them to click the link above to access the module checklist. You can keep track of your own progress by clicking the boxes after you complete each activity. I hit save, and then I'm prompted to start my new list. You click add a new list, and you can actually click where it says list one to edit what's in this box. So I'm again gonna call it the Be Here Now checklist. When I click out of the box, it now has a name. And I'm gonna add a new task to the checklist. So when I click this, when I see task one, I can click in this box and I can add text. So the first thing I want them to do is read their syllabus and I will make this do the 14th at 11.59 p.m. So they'll see the due date right underneath it and I can even add instructions and I can link activities here, either using insert things or quick links. So I've uploaded a syllabus link to task one. Now I'm gonna add a new task to our list. Same as before, I'll type, and what I want them to learn is how to collaborate using the Google Drive. So I'm gonna click Share Options, and I'm gonna grab an embed code so I can embed this into my checklist. I'm gonna go back to Oaks. I like to use the same due date and time on checklists. I think it helps students a lot. And when I add my description, I can embed my video. I'm gonna add a third task. I'd like for my students to add to our small group Flipgrid board. So I'm just gonna grab the flip code. And I'm using that same due date and time. and I've updated. And now I have a list of three things to do in this module. When I look at my module, I just see this link to the checklist I've made, and that takes me to it. I want you to notice when we click back on module one, it's hidden for students, so I wanna make sure that I click and make it visible for my students to see and to use. When I view this class as a fake student, I go to content and I see my checklist link right away. So I click the link to access and there are boxes now next to everything that I need to do. So let's say that I read my syllabus. When I check it, it will track what I've done here. If I leave, I can go back into the checklist and it still tracked my work. When I'm finished with everything, I will see for myself that I'm 100% done when I leave. This also shows me that I'm 100% done. So it's a wonderful way if you have modules full of things to do to help your students keep track of themselves.
Organization leads to overall success, and checklists can have a major part of that success, especially if you have a module that has a lot of information. Help your students by leading them along the path for success in your class.